I just saw the latest innovation of Motorola Tetra. Yeah, yes, Motorola still invests heavily in Tetra. They are going to introduce one of the smallest Tetra radios and one of the most leanest Tetra radios. I'm gonna cover that now. It's about 10 minutes to 10 at 10 o'clock. So Stuart, it's all great to talk about the device and to highlight the benefits of the device, mm -hmm. but there's more, right? I think the design is pretty slim, but mm -hmm. it's wide. You know, mm. I don't have very big hands. Um, <laughs> why is it as wide as it is? Is, is, that, is there a reason for that? And this is just the form factor that, that customers like. So it, it weighs less than 200 grams. It's the slimmest um, public safety radio that's on the market. So a lot of public safety officers are going to be wearing okay. it It's up the here. slimmest. Exactly. And it fits easy in the pocket, Exactly, right? exactly. It fits easily in the pocket. If you have it worn on your belt, it's not going to get in the way. You've got the antenna that's partially built into the chassis of the radio itself. We call it the hybrid antenna design which means that you've just got this short antenna it's only 25 mils long yes. that comes out the top of the radio is that enough so absolutely absolutely you get really good rf performance out of this radio the market is clear yes the reason why you developed it is clear and now the first customers Absolutely. You must yeah. have a go for a launch customer, right? We do. We have a launch customer in Asia. The contract's not signed, so I'm not going to tell you who it is, but we do okay, have a you, large public tell safety me, can, customer is in it, Asia. It's public safety. We have okay. a large public safety customer. A large public safety customer. And that enables you to develop this, this device? Exactly. We don't develop products in a vacuum. We're always going out and speaking to our customers, exactly. and we always appreciate their feedback and use it to inform our roadmap. So it's a combination of Motorola Solutions innovation and that voice of the customer data that's really important to us to make sure that we're meeting the market needs and doing things that customers really want us to do. Sure, are you joining me? Yeah. It's all great to talk about the device and to, to, to highlight the benefits of the device, mm -hmm. but there's more, right? I want, I want to test it a little bit. I want to Let's go a little bit it. more in, 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 in depth. It. Let me test if this device is really as good as Motorola Solutions says it is. Okay, great audio. So, so, we're, gonna, so, so we're on the same channel. You've got yeah. the volume control here on the side. Yeah. Just easy to use. No special training needed. None of these fiddly knobs that people mm -hmm. aren't necessarily mm -hmm. used mm -hmm. to in 2018. Mm -hmm. We've got the uh, we've got the buttons on the side for changing yeah. the volume. Okay. All right. So for first things first, mm -hmm. just talk, right? So it's two words. This is catch and move. So it's a bit it, loud. A little bit loud. Right? <laughs> that's that's really loud. Stuart Longley. Here's catch and move. Come in. Hello, Geert. How are you? Well, this is DMO. It's it's clear. It's 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 very clear. That's that that that's right. So, can it be purchased in TA2 as well? Yes. Okay. So, TA2 public safety, of course, that's very important. The PTT button is kind of rugged and feels quite okay. Um, there are the the plus and the minus button for the volume. So that means that if you're wearing it on your belt or if you're wearing it here and you can't actually see the screen, then you're yep. still getting that audio feedback as to how loud the volume is. Okay. What is this shark fin doing here? That's for changing the uh, talk group that you're on. This one over here? Yeah. Okay, this is, so it's not a knob anymore. It's, it's um, a kind of a button, toggle. is it? It's toggle a toggle selector. A toggle selector. Yeah. That's smart. That's contacts, favorite toll groups, networks, BT set, what is BT settings? Bluetooth. Bluetooth settings, Bluetooth. of course. It's got built-in Bluetooth so that you can use um, audio accessories. Okay, so what, what strikes me is that it is a very slim device, as you said, but it's also easy to use. There's not that many buttons. Absolutely. And I, Absolutely. I don't like buttons on, on the radio. And I guess a lot of other public safety officers don't like the buttons on the radio, and they even don't use the buttons on the radio. And so you're picking it up and using it without having had any training on this device, and that's one of the concepts behind exactly. it, is that we don't need to put people through complex training courses simply to pick up their radio and use it for their day-to-day -day tasks. It lets them focus on the tasks that are actually important to public safety officers, rather than worrying about the controls on their radio. So, so let me see, and that's very important, how to change, how to quickly change the battery here from this device. So I click this to that side. I will take it off. There's this one over here. 
put your battery, take the battery out, put a new battery in. It's so easy. Game, set, match. That little lock is for the IP67 ceiling, so it's a fully waterproof radio, even with this um, back cover that is removed. Fully waterproof? Fully waterproof. I see some water over there. <laughs> Let's go out. Let's okay. go out. Let's go out. The only way to find out if this device is really as rugged as Motorola Solution says is to do a drop test. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to drop this radio onto the concrete floor over here. Stuart is going to take a look at it. I know a place, Stuart, where we can do the drop test. Okay, Wait, Smith. He doesn't know exactly where we're going to. But if I am standing there, yes, and and I am hanging over, and I coincidentally drop my radio, what happens then? Can't guarantee that we won't end up with a scratched. Let's just do it. Okay, let's oh, let's. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it, come on. So, we're going to do a drop test of the ST7500 of Motorola Solution, the latest radio, the latest innovation in Tetra. Not from 1.2 meters, not from 1.3 meters, not from 1.5 meters, from about, I would say, 3 meters height. Okay, guys, are you ready? This is the height. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. Oops. <laughs> that was really a splash. Take a look. Okay. Okay, so let's put it on. Hello, Stuart. How are you? Are you there? I am. Hey, Stuart. Stuart. Will this be the last? Tetra device Motorola is producing, you think? Absolutely not. No, I think there's no. still there's still a big opportunity out there for Tetra to, to grow as a public safety technology. There's been lots of talk about broadband and how broadband's going to change the landscape of public safety, but people still need to talk to each other and narrowband radio technologies, I believe, still have a, have a future. So um, Tetra is a, a well-proven technology, widely used in public safety. There's lots of networks that already exist today where people have made huge capital investments and are continuing to invest in order to maintain their networks. So I think we'll be seeing Tetra devices, still new ones, coming onto the market for several years to come.